Puppet Show 500. Helping others can help you feel better. Hello, everyone. I'm Miss Web Raspberry, one of Bogey's puppet friends here in the big, beautiful Queen Tree Village. Bob and Bogart used to visit all of their schools and do puppet shows in his assemblies in Naples and most of the Collier County schools. All the way from Evergreen City out to Marco Island and up to Immokalee and just about all the schools in between. Bob thought by making this puppet show to talk to you about Hurricane Ian and that when you listen to our conversation that maybe it will make you want to help others in many important ways. And hopefully that will help all of us feel a little bit better as we recover from that big storm. Oh my goodness, the one million acts of kindness bus is just about to leave. You guys might recognize it. It is just like the kindness bus that Bob and Bogart lived in. All of you were so very nice every time Bob and Bogart would come to Florida for the winter. And Bob hopes that this little show is something you will want to watch with your friends and family and maybe even at school. So here comes four more of Bogey's Puppet Friends. I hope you like the show. It's called We Should All Help Each Other Every Chance We Get. Hop, 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 hop. That was such a big storm with so much wind and rain. Oh my goodness, look at all the trees. They've been blown over by the hurricane. They are everywhere. Our big beautiful green tree is still standing. But so many of my friends who I know and friends from school were in the direct path of Hurricane Ian and have lost all their trees in their yard. And I am so sad. <laughs> Being sad is a normal reaction when something like this happens. I'm sure that you know that we are all here for you, Hippity Hop, and we are all here for each other. That was such a big hurricane. There was so much wind and so much rain. The weatherman said it was almost a Category 5, which is very dangerous. I am hearing the same thing from most of my friends, Hippity Hop. Some of my friends even had water in their houses, almost up to their head. Luckily, they left before the hurricane hit Naples and Fort Myers. I almost made the biggest mistake of my life. I'm very lucky that I survived the hurricane. I decided to stay and move all my bananas that were hanging on the outside of the tree to the inside of the tree. Being a monkey, my bananas mean the world to me. With as windy as it was, they might have been blown all the way to the other side of Florida maybe even into the Atlantic Ocean. And I decided to save them instead of saving myself. I'm never going to do that again. I thought I was a goner. Oh, you were so lucky, E.E.E. -E -E. When I was a little boy back in Italy, we had a very rare hurricane. In Italy, a hurricane is called a medicane because it comes out of the Mediterranean Sea, right where Italy is. Uh, there was so much damage. Trees were blown over, the houses were damaged, cars were even completely under the water. The electricity was out for two weeks. My mama said, there's a lesson in everything to be learned. You just need to look for the opportunity to help out where you can. It was blowing so hard during the hurricane, I couldn't believe it. I was inside the big beautiful green tree during the entire storm. I got soaking wet and I had to hang onto the tree branches for my dear life. I wonder what the Naples Zoo did with all the monkeys on Monkey's Island. I was so worried and afraid for all the animals, especially all my monkey friends. I know a lot of animals they take inside different buildings at the zoo 
when they are safe and sound. They always do such an incredible job with all the animals at the zoo. When they take the animals inside, a lot of times they'll do an examination on every animal while they have them there. They check everything out, even their teeth, which is the most important thing on monkeys because we love bananas. There are some really smart veterinarians to make sure that all the animals are healthy. I'm going to have to go over to the zoo when some of the debris from all the houses and trees is removed. And I'll check up on all my monkey friends. I hope everyone is okay. I think that me doing this will make me feel less afraid for them and less afraid for me. I'm going to take some bananas too, maybe. I just got to thinking that there are probably a lot of puppy dogs and kitty cats that got frightened from the hurricane. I'll bet some of them are still lost. I'm going to go on a search and rescue mission today. I'm going to take a big backpack with water bottles and as money as my crunchy munchy bones that I can carry. I can't wait to see the looks on the faces of all the puppy dogs when they see me coming to the rescue with fresh clean water and a nice crunchy munchy bone to take their mind off their troubles. Hop, 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 hop. Because I can jump very high and don't mind getting splashed, I would love to come with you, Bow Wowser. I want to look for some of my bunny rabbit friends to see how they did with the heavy rains and all the flooding. Most rabbits live underground. And they are very smart, too. Rabbits will plug the entrance to their underground home, and they also dig down in the ground and then back up into a mound. Many rabbits will build on the side of a hill where there's very good drainage, and their homes won't get flooded. Hop, 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 hop. We should all do something to help others that may not have a home to live in anymore. We could all do something on our own. Plus, we should do something as a group. The important thing is, we all need to help during times like these. I'm wondering what would be the best thing we can do. I think we should talk to some people in charge to find out the best way for us to help. I agree, Bowser. Maybe we can form small groups or one large group to go out looking for someone who might need a helping hand. During the last big storm we had a few years ago, I saw a piece of paper that was stapled up to a tree. It says if you can help out, you should find a way to jump into action. But be sure to check with the people in charge to make sure it's so safe and okay for all of us to do. Oh my goodness. I remember like it was yesterday when that medicaine hit Italy. My uncle Pablo Giovanni Smucci Wucci jumped into action right when the hurricane was over. He had a chainsaw and a boat and a generator. He helped so many people by rescuing them and cleaning up some of the trees when the water went down. He even took the generator to my mama's house so her oven would work and that she could help out by making some of her famous Italian meals for everyone in our village. She even made some of her famous meatball sandwiches with double mozzarella cheese. Every electric power line worker who worked for the electric company got two meatball sandwiches each. Some of those workers that came from hundreds of miles away to work in dangerous conditions just to help us. That is so amazing to me that so many people will help people that they don't even know. Maybe this is something for all of us uh, to do all the time. I'm going to do the same thing my mama did for anyone who is hungry. And of course, all the electric power line workers will get two meatball sandwiches with double mozzarella cheese. I am so happy that you said that, Julio. Luckily, my Banana of the Month Club shipment came yesterday and they dropped off 10 extra boxes of bananas because I have been a member for 10 years. I'm going to start today by handing out a banana to everyone I see. Eee -ee -ee. 
There's no way that I could eat 10 boxes of bananas all by myself. Even if I had only one box for myself, I would share it with everyone. I just heard that all the animals, including the monkeys at the Naples Zoo, are in good shape. I'm gonna take one entire box over to the zoo later today. Ee, 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 the monkeys are gonna be so happy. Ee, ee, ee. Oh no, I just went inside and saw all my crunchy munchy bones. They must have been floating in the dirty water. Now I don't have any crunchy munchy bones to give away. When I was at the store yesterday, they had all kinds of steak and bacon bones, and they were high up on the shelf. The owner of the store lives in that building, so I'm going to go over there and I'll just have to buy some steak and bacon bones for all those puppy dogs who are having a harder time than me. <laughs> I just realized that the lady who moved in around the corner lives all alone. I heard her talking and she said that she moved here because it's such a nice area, but that she was going to be living by herself. I'm going to hop there right now and make sure that she's okay. Before you guys leave, to go help the others as a group, maybe you can come by and get me. If the new lady needs more help than I can give her, I'll come back and get you guys right away. Hop, 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 hop. I'm going to go help our new neighbors in just a few minutes. Hop, 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 hop. I know exactly who you are talking about. She is such a nice lady. Every time she comes by the big beautiful green tree, she brings me my four favorite bones. A crunchy munchy bone, a chewy gooey bone, a steak and bacon bone, and a lip licking chicken bone. I'm going to come and check on her with you, Hippity Hop. When you guys go, I'm coming with you. Sometimes having a few of us can help others better than just one of us. We each have our own talent where we can help. You can hop really well, hippity hop, and really high. And I can pretty much climb up on anything. And Bowser can run really fast. So between the three of us, if we need to help our neighbor, we should be able to do almost anything for her working as a team together. Eee, eee, eee. She's going to be rescued if she needs to be. E -e -e. Well, the most important thing is we should let everyone know that if they are in need, we are here to help any way we can. Even if they just want to talk, we will be here for them. I am hearing some wonderful news about others wanting to help one another. I flew high above Naples and Fort Myers today to see where help is needed. The first the thing that I saw was that in both of the towns was that their piers were almost completely ruined. I wonder if we can get all the school children to take up collections at the schools to get money to help uh, rebuild them. I think it would be a wonderful idea for the children to help in some way. Our little village is very kind and so is Naples and Fort Myers. Maybe we will have to call the mayor or the police chief or maybe even the fire chief to see how we can get this done. There are many things all of us can do, but focusing on one or two things for the children is a good way to help them feel like they have something very big to help the community. How cool would it be that when they are adults, they can tell their own children that they helped to rebuild the pier in their town. I feel like all of us can do some great things to help others in need and working together to make things better is what it is all about and it helps to make you feel better too. I just thought of one last thing. We should always have some backup plans in case if what we want to do is something that we aren't allowed to do. So what I heard from all of us talking about, maybe some of these things can be our backup plan. The first thing we can do is how about we help the monkeys at Monkey Island at Maple Zoo. I don't mean just right now because of the hurricane. I think maybe we can help to organize the school kids to volunteer to do things and raise money so they can give it to the zoo for food and medicine 
for the monkeys all year long. The second really important thing is that I think there are many older people that live alone, but no one knows about them. Maybe we can make it a point to check on them a couple times a week. We can also have a list of all the seniors who live alone in case if there's ever an emergency, we will know where all of them live, especially if they have no one to take care of them. It would be so awesome to have a friend to talk with who is much older than us. Just think of the wonderful things we can talk about. What do you think, Bowser? You always have practical ideas. Well, I think the third thing everyone should do is what I was saying about my crunchy munchy bones and what you said about your bananas, is that we should always have food and water on hand in case of an emergency. We should keep the food in a clean, dry space, high up, so it doesn't get ruined in case water gets in your house. And the last thing that I can think of that is everyone should know in advance how they can help out. It's just like Julio's uncle. He has a boat and a chainsaw and a generator, and he knows those things can be a big help after a hurricane. We all should know what we have and what we can do to help others, and we should all be prepared to help in any way we can. Hop, 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 hop. You guys are so awesome. Everything we talked about will keep everyone safe whenever there's a hurricane again. If we are well prepared, there is nothing to worry about. Our village was lucky that we were in the direct path of the hurricane like Naples and Fort Myers and so many other towns across Florida. The most important thing to do is that you need to leave the area when the hurricane comes before the hurricane even hits. That way you'll be safe for sure. Well, off I go to help our new neighbor. Hop, 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 hop. We should all help each other every chance we get. Hop, 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 hop. I'm starting to get almost happy enough to do my happy hop again. Hop, 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 hop. Thank you to Kent and Kathy Ellert for sponsoring this episode of Bogey's Puppet Friends, helping children find their forever home through adoption. That was Bogey's favorite song. <laughs>